All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. How is everyone doing today? Good, 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 good. Hey, in today's video, I just want to go over some power supplies. The power supplies I'm using in my GPU rigs, my CPU rigs, and my hybrid rigs where I'm running GPU and CPU. I have ATX power supplies, and I have some of those server power supplies as well. Um, let's just get started. So what I've looked for, what I've started with, when I got into this mining stuff only a few months ago, I had a rig, a gaming ring I built in 2013. It had a Corsair 750 watt power supply. And I had one GTX right here, the old 760 from 2013, baby. I had that puppy in there, worked fine. And then you learn that a GPU draws a certain amount of watts, depending on what you're mining. And uh, I think this card, I'm just going to guess, I think it's 150 watts, the 3070 Ti. And then you take how much, uh, how much draw, how many watts does this CPU, this Ryzen 9 3900 draw and the motherboard. And right now, you know, let's just conservatively say I'm under 400 draw, which I'm sure it's a lot less. But I know a 750 is definitely going to be able to handle that. So I like the Corsair brand and I like the 750 for sizing. And I also like about the Corsair and most, most brands do EVGA, they have the modular where you just get the plugs and you just pin them in there and it's uh, pretty sweet and easy. And then here you can see I got the PCIe coming out right here. It gives me a bunch of PCIe slots and I got it coming out to the GPU and I got one of my GPU riser. I was about 109 bucks I think at the time from Amazon. So there's another brand called Ars Game, A-R-E-S-G-A-M-E, 750 watts. It is a bronze rated power supply. This one's a little different. It's kind of mixed. It's got most of the cords coming out. Uh, it isn't all modular. It's got dedicated lines coming out for your motherboard, and it's got modular plugs as well. Uh, I like this. This price point was $59 right there, and it works fine. I'm running CPU with a... 6600 XT going CPU and GPU mining on Ethereum there. And this one's on Raptorium. And there's the motherboard it's running. Same thing here, another Ars Game 750 right there. Same setup, 6600 XT Red Devil. Here it is right here. If you guys are interested, it's an 80 plus bronze, 750 watts. But I also have EVGA 750. And I have, a, let's see, an EVGA 1000. Both of these are gold. I got this guy off eBay new. When you get multiple different um, power supplies like this, keep the cables with the box because sometimes the pins and the cables aren't cross compatible. You know, like these pins don't mean the same when an Ars game, Corsair or EVGA uh, the 750s, I keep them all in one box just so I know if I need them, those are the right cables. Same with the uh, same with the EVGAs. And most have different labels on them, and they will say EVGA. I don't think this one has Ars Game on them. It just says PCIe. And you can tell the labeling's different. I love the 750s. If you can get the golds, get the golds. But I have had no problem running these bronze modular power supplies all right let me tell you what i can run off of 1000 see how modular it is i love that i don't know some people may hate it but i got the 24 pin coming out and i got all the pcie and the sata coming out so this is my nice little 14 dollar wood rig and on here i only have five gpus right now because this 1000 is powering five gpus of course, the Intel CPU and then the motherboard. I and I do the 80% roll. So, you know, you get the max power. Like this thing's a 1,000. You don't want to max out on a 1,000. You just want to take up to 80% of that power just to be safe. All right. So those are the ATX gold and bronze power supplies I currently use. And there's another EVGA down there. And that's the gold one. And this is on my 3080 Ti rig. Now these 3080 Ti's, they draw so much juice. Like I said, at least you can uh, size out your requirements based on that. If you go and look and say, well, I wanna build this rig. 
So this, say this is all 6600 XTs, you kind of know they draw maybe, let's just say 60 watts each. So 60 times six and 60 watts just for the GPUs and then a little bit for the risers and then whatever the uh, motherboard and then the CPU draw. So you can kind of go, hey, this 1000 is more than enough. I'm good to go, boom. So you always want to think about the computations on what you're going to build and then buy your um, power supplies accordingly. And then what I did with this 3080 Ti build, I just used the, uh, the 750 EVGA down there. I use that just to power the motherboard. Oh, and I use it to power the risers. So I split the power across and it works fine, but I have the power coming out to the motherboard, the CPU power, and I have the riser power coming out as well. So what I did there, you got the one, like I said, distributed doing the motherboard and the risers. Down here, I have an HP power supply that is doing, it's doing a couple GPUs. So the thing with these, um, GP, these 30 ATIs, look at this. Sometimes they take three plugs and they're just a beast with power consumption. These ROG Strix ones. And then I have a second one right here. This is an HP as well. So I think I was maxing out after a couple GPUs hooked into it. So I broke that out as well, just to distribute the load. And I've had no issues. When these things start getting taxed and they get closer to the 80% or of their max, they will start whining. You'll hear them like winding up like a jet engine. And that's kind of when you know you're kind of, oh, maybe I'm overdrawing this and just maybe distribute the load. But you should do your calculations anyway, based on how much a GPU is drawing and what you're plugging into and then do the 80%. Don't go over like 750 watt, don't go near that. Just do 80% of 750 watt and you'll be good to go. You just gotta know what you're gonna build, find out what these things draw for the GPUs and then the motherboard and CPU as well and then buy accordingly. This is a 750 watt HP server power supply. I have these plugged into 240, 30 amps. There's the fan. And they came out of servers. I mean, the tall servers you see in server farms, server labs, these are what are used to uh, power those tall uh, racks you see. And they pull these out and they work great. You buy these breakout boards separately. And these are all parallel miner stuff I get it from. And you can get some stuff on um, Amazon. But I, I kind of trust the parallel miner stuff because they even say you want to make sure you get this one. Verified HP server power supplies. They're not ripoffs or knockoffs. And then you can buy these knockout boards, these breakout boards. And then these pins just plug right in real, real like that. Well, I'm trying to one hand it. I can't. But anyway, you get these cables. Here's your cables. This runs over to your GPU. Then you can put a splitter on that and uh, you are good to go. Check out the EVGA. Um, oh, it's refurbished or renewed. You'll see it. And uh, those, they'll have a bunch of uh, power supplies listed. And then check what you want. You get gold, you get 750, you get 800 watts and go from there. As long as you just do your, your calculations right, you shouldn't have any problem. Just don't overtax the power supply. Uh, do the 80%, like I said, 750 watts. So don't draw any more off this than 80% of whatever 750 and you should be safe. All right. Uh, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys found works. I love these power supplies and you can just, it just makes things so much easier. But then I love these too, because look, and I can just plug everything modularly into it and I'm up and running. No problems, no issues. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any recommendations on what you use to power your supplies, let me know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll talk to you all later. All right. Thanks for watching. I am out. Take care.